Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. This hunt video is definitely something different. Uh, so this week I actually have two autograph events that I am going to. I'm going to Mick Foley and that one is in my local town. It's at the mall at uh, Heroes Hideout. And the second one is going to be at, uh, it's at a hotel in New Jersey, and there I'm going to be uh, getting an autograph from Bret Hart. So it's going to be pretty freaking sweet. I can't wait to do this. While I'm in New Jersey, I'm going to see if I'm going to be able to get any footage here. I'm hope, hoping to. Uh, it's about half an hour away from the hotel where the autograph is. And it's a store which I've heard before about, and they always have... Um, wrestling signings and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I saw it on the uh, Major Wrestling uh, podcast, the uh, Matt Cardona uh, YouTube channel. It's called Pandora's Box, and I'm going to check it out. So hopefully they let me take some footage in there, and we'll see what happens. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's going to be very wrestling-centric, so if you're not into wrestling, you could probably just tune out. But if you have any interest in wrestling, this is going to be a pretty awesome video. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so here is when you first walk into Pandora's box, and the first thing they hit you with is all of these Ninja Turtles, and these are all originals. It's really quite amazing. Like, right off the bat, that's what you see. 
And they have just an amazing, incredible selection of original Ninja Turtles mint on box. And <clears throat> looking at the prices, they're really very reasonable. I would have spent so much more money here if I did not have the, the trip to, to North Carolina coming up. And then you go over here. And they have this end cap with just various items. And then there's this wall of just amazing goodness. Just so much various older toys. And that banner had their location and, and information. Here is some wrestling. I mean, look at these originals. I mean, it's really it's just... I could not believe the selection in this store. Between a Lucy's, between things actually on package, it's incredible. But look at this. Just looking at this footage once again, it makes me want to go back right now and just buy up so much more stuff. I'm definitely going to hit this store up again probably sometime in the next couple of months. Because it actually, as it turned out, it's not that far from me. Uh, it's only probably a little over two hours, about two hours and 20 minutes. And it's absolutely worth the drive. I click at all these older elites that it has. I mean, it's got figures which I recently have gotten on eBay, which I could have gotten here. Look at all these uh, older Jax classics. And I will say that their prices are very fair, very comparable to like what you would find on uh, eBay. Uh, they're not gouging anything um, because I actually just to get an idea because I always want to get an idea of like how f fair a store's prices are. So, you know, I'll look at a couple random items and then I'll look it up on eBay just to see what eBay is asking. And the store was right in line, uh, right down the middle. Uh, very fair. Which I think is what stores need to do nowadays because it's just too easy to shop online. It, it just it just is. It's not like you have to wait months to get something. You know, you order something online, a lot of times the very next day it's going to be on your front doorstep. But this store absolutely does it right. Their wrestling section just was astonishing. It really was. Just so much, so much. There's so many items which I picked up, looked at, considered, put back. Ultimately, I settled on a couple of items which you guys will see in the pickups, but it's, it's, I cannot heap enough praise here. I really can't. It's a cool warrior figure. I believe they had 60 on it, which is pretty good. It's a pretty good price for it. Check out this taker. This taker was awesome. This was one of the ones I was definitely contemplating. That was when he was uh, tag champions with the big show. Macho Man, it was a Macho King. This one I was seriously contemplating because I almost bought this several times on eBay. It's the Storm Collectibles Hulk Hogan. And uh, the price was right, absolutely. It's, that's, it was 100 bucks, and that's about how much it goes for on eBay. So that was not an issue at all. Um, just ultimately I ended up finding some stuff which I wanted more. The CM Punk was great. That's that was a Toys R Us exclusive. If you guys hear chirping in the backgrounds right now, I'm sitting and relaxing uh, in the backyard under beautiful weather. Uh, I'm doing this voiceover and enjoying this footage. 
Look at this tag set of uh, the Legion of Doom. That was 50 bucks, even though it was not um, mint on card by any means. The fact that it was still on card and it's the Legion of Doom and it was $50, very, very fair price. They had the Maddie Collector, uh, Andre the Giant. Like, look at all this various stuff here. All the Lucy's. Like, I could spend an entire day here just going through the Lucy's. Great selection of uh, Mythic Legions, even. And we're about to hit here the Star Wars section, which was equally impressive to the wrestling sections right around the corner. We'll get to it momentarily. The original X-Men um, figures from the original X-Men movie. As you guys can see, again, just a lot of random stuff. A lot of older DC. A lot of older McFarlane Spawn. This original McFarlane Spawn. Yeah, so I just continued down this wall of various uh, random toys and you turn around and you hit the star wars section and this star wars section was just something else it had a little bit of everything pretty much everything since uh the 90s every various line uh from power of the force to saga collection to vintage collection to black series and one of the items which Here's your Transformer section, which I will get back to uh, momentarily, but I'm going to focus here on Star Wars. I ended up picking up one of the Black Series here. It was something that I've always wanted. It's something that's always eluded me, and I've never actually seen it in a store until today, so I absolutely had to get it. And you guys will see it momentarily. But, you know, they have all the various vehicles. I mean, <laughs> oh. I mean, a lot of this stuff I haven't seen in years since it was originally released, you know, and I saw it on the shelves. This one was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, if I'm not mistaken, this Jen or so. It's a Boba Fett, original Boba Fett from the Black Series. The Unleashed, they had some Unleashed figures. The Padme Unleashed. I was actually tempted to get that. One of the many things I was tempted to get during this visit. The original Boba Fett release. And then I start digging. Keep digging. And look what I find back here. Look at this. Look at this. One of the most desired Black Series pieces of all time. The Captain Rex. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, that's coming home with me. And I saw the price. I'm like, yep, that's right in line where it should be. They're not gouging anything. It's just what it should be. I put it back for now because I just wanted to keep looking. So I didn't want to carry it around. Because I already had one hand uh, tied up with using the uh, camera. Original Obi-Wan from episode one. Padme. Amazingly, this is the only Black Series Padme figure that they have. Spirit Obi-Wan. I hope they make a Spirit uh, Anakin figure. Because they have a Spirit uh, Yoda. And the Anakin would obviously complete that trinity. This was cool. 
I have the newer version of this, which is the uh, Scout Trooper on the speeder bike with the Grogu from uh, end of uh, season one of Mandalorian. A lot of vehicles here that uh, you don't really see too often. So much good stuff. It's just... <laughs> Seriously, just going through this footage and looking at it, I, I just want to go back. Is one of my all-time favorite figures, the battle-damaged uh, Vader on the 30th anniversary line with the coins. Again, this is one of my favorite lines, so, like, there's a lot of figures in here which I would have loved to have picked up. Next time, there's that battle-damaged Vader, which one of my all-time favorite figures. Phantom Menace, Qui-Gon, original vintage collection. These are original vintage collection figures, which are not easy to come by nowadays. And these are some of the new ones, too. But, I, again, this goes to show the nice mix that this store has. Some Power of the Force figures, even. That's a great figure right there. That's some of the comic two-packs, which I'm a fan of. <laughs> I saw this Ahsoka and got excited momentarily, but... Uh, it's the uh, re-release, obviously. It would not have been that price if it was the original. The positioning of the saber is what's telling. I love these uh, comic packs. I, I do have a number of them. But I do think they're very neat. You can see I've skipped over so much, but there's just so much to look at. Now here's our G.I. Joe section, some Godzilla stuff. They do have a relatively small Transformer section. That's the one main line which uh, they didn't have a ton of. Same with G.I. Joe, not a ton. I mean, it was definitely represented but just not a huge amount. Now here's some Transformers that they had in the case and some higher-end stuff with the Masterpiece figures. Definitely some really cool stuff. Bunch of LJNs in there. That Millennium Falcon, I remember when that was available in Toys R Us. If I'm not mistaken, that was a Toys R Us exclusive. I, I'm a, I was afraid to ask how much that even goes for nowadays. My guess it's minimum four or $500. It, probably more. I only have one Millennium Falcon. I have the uh, Power of the Force one from the 90s. I don't have like the newer one or the legacy collection. Now, uh, here, these were some two packs of Marvel Legends, some older ones. These were really neat. I don't even think I've ever seen these before. But uh, these were really nice. That's a cool two pack right there. These were all 
just <laughs> just great pieces. These are a little pricey. I would imagine they're relatively rare. They even had some records. <laughs> Talk about having a little bit of everything. Even comic books, and this is their comic wall. And they had some <laughs> they had some big books up here. They had a Star Wars number one. They had the first vision right there. Heir of the Empire number one, which is a big book. That's the first uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn. And here's their showcase of wrestling of Mint on Card. Just astonishing, really. It's just, th this store is really pretty amazing. Original Mint on Cards. All right, guys, so welcome to the pickups portion of today's video. And this is going to be mostly wrestling for the exception of one thing which I picked up at Pandora's box, which was not wrestling related. It's something Star Wars, and it's kind of a... It's not a grail. I mean, I think that word just gets it thrown around way too much. We need another term for it whether it's a you know, highly desirable piece of some sort whatever but you guys will see but uh let me jump into all of the pickups if, if, that i got for wrestling uh this week so first i'll show you guys the signings so i got uh bret hart's signature on the two-pack of him and goldberg now i already had goldberg sign this so now i have both bret hart and goldberg's signature on this Goldberg signature is hard to see. It's right there. He signed it in gold, and it didn't, you know, come out great. But they're both there. They're definitely. It's definitely visible better in person. But Brett's because it's in pink really pops. So it's uh, it's really good. So that was uh, Bret Hart, and here is the McFoley one, and he per he personalized it to me, which I thought was cool. So. That's Mick Foley, and you never know. Maybe someday I can find a way to get this guy. It's not out of the realm of possibility. A lot of these guys uh, do go to, like, New York Comic Con, like San Diego Comic Con. And I've been to New York Comic Con several times. And, you know, if The Rock was there, and I was, if I was there, I would get a signature. I mean, it's, it would be kind of a once-in-a-lifetime kind of thing. I would bet his signature is probably four or five hundred dollars, but it might be worth it. I, mean, I don't know. I, I would do it. I'm not gonna lie. I would do it. <laughs> so, anyways, let's move on. So the next figures. This is all stuff that I got from uh, Ringside Collectible, and let's see. This is from the Dominic uh, Mysterio build a figure wave, Shawn Michaels. I'm gonna pop these open at some point. Um, and build little Dominic. Sensational Sherry. It's the one that goes with the Shawn Michaels. So that's pretty cool. This figure, I think, looks really tremendous. It says Collector's Edition, so I probably won't open it. Uh, it's uh, the British Bulldog. So... Maybe if I find a second one, I'll open it. But I I don't think I'm going to open this one. This figure is awesome. It's funny. When he appeared in WrestleMania 37 wearing this gear, I was like, wow, I can't wait to see what the action figure of that gear is going to look like. And it's the WrestleMania 37 Edge. I, I just think it looks really good. I'll definitely be opening this one up. And... Let's see what else. 
I got both Bret Hart's, the uh, regular and the Chase. I believe this one is the uh, Chase. So I'm going to keep this one in package and I'm going to open this one up. And the face actually looks a lot better on this one than it does on a lot of Bret Hart figures. They did a better job on the face on this one, which is good. These two figures I got off of Facebook Marketplace. And especially this one I've been looking for actively. And it is the Wolfpack NWO Kevin Nash. It comes with the water bottle. And this one, I've wanted a uh, demon Finn Balor. And I uh, got this for a very good price. I, I got both of them from the same guy on Facebook Marketplace. As with the uh, Kevin Nash. So I got a good deal on it. And it is the demon Finn Balor. Which I think looks really good. In the last two things, these I got at Pandora's Box. So I could have spent, <laughs> like, I was probably in there for about two hours. I I went through the store uh, kind of one time. Then a second time around, I went through. That's when I filmed. And then a third time around, I went through again. Uh, and that was when I decided uh, what I was going to get. And... I kind of had a, a cap as to how much money I wanted to spend only because of the North Carolina trip coming up where we're going to a con and that's going to be an expensive trip. <laughs> so I, I really wanted to uh, kind of make, make sure that I uh, manage my finances responsibly. But what I got was this Defining Moments Macho Man, which I think looks really awesome. I almost wish this would have been loose. It, but because it's not loose, I'm not going to take it out of package. But if, if this was loose, it, that would have been awesome. And this is the Star Wars piece, which I got there. This one is... It is very difficult to, to get and come across. It is the original uh, Captain Rex from the Black Series. Like I said, not a grail, but it's definitely a highly desirable piece. Now this one, what's interesting is that there was there's going to be a re-release coming up of it, and I have one pre-ordered. I pre-ordered it probably at this point a year ago on Entertainment Earth, and all the uh, online retailers had it. You know, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, and they all sold out. So they're all listed as sold out right now, and this was literally a year ago. And the release date keeps getting pushed back, back, and back. At this point, it's at, uh, I believe, February of 2023. So I don't believe it's ever going to even happen. And, and that's why, and they had this for a good deal. It was a price I was comfortable paying. So I was like, you know what? I, I'm, this is rid ridiculous. I'm just going to buy it now. And if I get a second one, you know, I can sell it at that point. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around to uh, the end of this hunt video. This one is uh, obviously, like I said, a little different. Uh, Pandora's Box is an amazing store. I could have spent literally all day in there and not seen everything because they just have so many layers of stuff. I mean, even digging through their Lucy's. I, I mean, I could have been there all day, but... Time was limited. I, I still spent uh, probably over two hours in there, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm um, definitely going to have to make my way back there at some point. It's not crazy far from, from me. It's probably about two hours and 15 minutes, so it's not terrible. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, please be sure to comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Until next time, take care.